Hi guys. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you people? How are you? Tell me. How's how's everything? People, hello. How's everything? Hello. Very good, sir. Sorry, I didn't hear you, Maria. It was awesome. Very good. All right, that's perfect. That's really, really good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. How are you, Jair? Hi. Happy, I'm happy. Very fine. Are you happy? Yes. All right, all right. That is perfect. That's perfect. Good to know. Good to know. Yes, I'm happy for you. Yes, welcome everybody. It's a pleasure to be here again. And it's a pleasure to have you here again. Yes. Okay. Let me see. Hello, Sandra, Cesar, Anna, Silvia, Karen, Carlos, Magdiel, uh, Magdiel Maria, Jair, and uh, Wilber. May you guys be welcome. And Carlos Ernesto, who is just getting he getting in here with Karina. All right, people, welcome to the class. And uh, it's a pleasure, all right? A pleasure to be here. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to have you here. And I'm happy to be here. Yes. All right. Excellent. Uh, we're just waiting. OK, we're just waiting for the rest. Today is Tuesday or Wednesday? Wednesday, right now. Tuesday. Tuesday. Friday. <laughs> right. Yes. Uh, soon. Soon. Okay. The week is going to like going to go like this. It's going to fly. Okay. You know, time flies. Tiempo vuela. Time flies. La otra semana terminado, but flies. Wednesday, to be more specific. Miércoles, para ser más, para ser más específico. Wednesday, Wednesday. Yes, if, if everything goes okay. Si todo va bien, yes, yes, of course, on Wednesday. Si no, pues, Thursday. Si no, Friday. Si no, pues. Yes, you understand. All right. Well, <clears throat> now I see more people. Yes, we are ready to start. Let me just, let me just open the, the, the attendance list. Here we go. It's taking a few seconds. All right, here we go. Today is Tuesday, 17th. Okay, let me take attendance. Let's start with Alba Yaner Jimenez Cabrera. Present. Hi. Teacher. Yes, yes. Ana, Hi. Ana Marcela Argueta Santos. Present, teacher. Hi. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Hello, Carlos. Carlos Josué Pascasio García. César Arquímedes Moreno Flores. Present teacher. Jonathan Mauricio Galvez Juárez. Present. Hi. José Yair uh, Lobo Pérez. I'm here. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Hello, Magdiel. Marcela Gaida Melgar Alas. Present teacher. Hi. Margarita Lesmeri Pérez Ayala. Present
Okay, María José Hernández, Auceda, hello. Presente. Raúl Arturo Esquivel Medina. Present teacher. Hello. Fernando Antonio Fernández Acevedo. Sandra Yanira Ayala Jiménez. Silvia sí. Guadalupe Romero Montoya. Present. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Fanny Judith Palacios de Oliva. Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. And uh, Carlos Roberto Alemán. Yeah. Okay. Very good. I see Carlos you. Carlos Pascasio, present teacher. Yes. Hello, Carlos. How are you? Hello. Okay. I just changed it. All right. Excellent. Okay. Welcome, everybody. It's a pleasure to see you. Okay. Yes. Let's continue. Today we're going to continue with this part. Uh, I'm sharing that part with you uh, already. Can you see it? Do you see the book? Do you guys see the book? Yes. 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 Okay, excellent. Uh, we continue with unit number three, and which is scheduled events at the workplace. And today we have this this uh, this objective that says I will be able to use present continuous for temporary situations at the workplace. Okay, I will be able to use present continuous for temporary situations at the workplace. Okay, that's that's uh, the objective of today's class or today's class objective. And uh, then we have in part one, two questions that says, that say, what are temporary activities? What temporary activities you are doing uh, at your workplace these days? And what about your coworkers, people? What, uh, uh, what temporary activities are you doing at the workplace these days? Can you please tell me? Eh, teacher, ¿qué significaría temporal? Temporary is uh, just a, a, an activity that is temporal, okay? Just for a, for a few days, okay. temporal. Yes. Pues, temporary activities, actividades temporales, okay? O momentáneas, por un tiempo. Yes. People, hello. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Wilber. Uh, the, the temporary activities uh, you are doing at your workplace mm -hmm. these days, uh, well, we are, we are install, installing a GPS. Mm -hmm. Uh, these days, uh, what about your co co-workers? Well, uh, in this moment, we are taking a relax. Okay, <laughs> you're relaxing. Okay, okay, that's okay. Thank you, Wilber, for that for your uh, for your answer. Okay, thank you, thank you. Another person, anybody else? Yes, anybody else? Uh, teacher, we are some activities uh, in my job, right? For example, today uh, we was wearing like a rock. <laughs> de, eh, no vestimos casi que como que de rock, no? Uh -huh. okay. And in other days, um, we are wearing like uh, Hawaii, for example, mm -hmm. Hawaii. Or um, today we are we was uh, celebrating some birthdays um, for the partners. 
Okay. Okay, that's okay. That's that's perfect. All right. Yes, thank you, Maria, for sharing. You are wearing uh, uh, different costumes these days. Okay, thank you. Uh, anybody else? People, let's continue. Anybody else that would like to share with us? Teacher. Okay, Carlos. Uh, in my workplace, we are receiving a risk uh, training. You are receiving a risk. A, a risk? Yes, risk training. Okay, okay. Una capacitación relacionada con riesgos. Oh, okay, okay, yes, yes, okay. I understand now, I understand now, okay. Okay, Carlos, thank you, Carlos, for sharing. People, anybody else, alguien más? Guys? Hello, teacher. Tell me, tell me. Hello. My temporary activities is, is receive, receiving, receiving the receiving, call. Receiving. Receiving. Mm -hmm. receiving call, call, call of the clients. Call, receiving calls from clients. Call from clients. Yes. And my coworker too. Okay. Yeah. Make a worker too. All right. That's a, that's perfect. That's perfect. I just send the the, the send because I think it's receiving. Receiving. I'm receiving calls from clients. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm just checking here. I'm not, I'm not really sure if he's receiving with, I'm not really sure, I'm gonna check. Okay. All right, anybody else? Alimas, anybody else? Teacher. Yes, tell me. At my work, we changed the security system. Sorry, repeat, please. At my work, mm -hmm. we changed the security system. We are. We, you are trying. No, at my work, mm -hmm. we change. Cambiar. Oh, we are the, changing. Changing. Mm, we the, are changing. Security system. Okay, the security system. Okay, uh, okay. That counts. Uh, that counts. They have they have use new gates. Sorry. Uh, the gave use new gates. No, as claves. Oh, new keys, keys, or passwords. I would say password. Oh, perfect. They got you new passwords. New passwords, okay, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Cesar, for sharing. Okay, anybody else, alguien más? I'm teacher. Okay, Carlos, thank you, Carlos. Um, what are temporary activity activities uh, you are doing at your workplace this day? Mm -hmm. um, I am attending meeting with partner of Panama during two days. For two days. Excuse me? For two days. Ah, okay. For. Mm -hmm. I am attending meeting with partner of Panama for two days. Mm -hmm. That's it? Only one? Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. That's okay. Thank you, Carlos, for sharing. Anybody else? Alguien más? People, I'm waiting. I am waiting. 
for you. Hi. Okay, Jair, tell me. Uh, my temporary activities is I, I am monitoring co-workers in Guatemala country. Mm -hmm. um, to also I'm, I am prepare, preparing Mm -hmm. a report a complaint client report complaints or uh... complaint complaint client client algo así creo como gestiones de los clientes uh, pero de la defensoría client complaints ah client complaint yes. de la defensa okay. All right, all right, that's okay, that's okay. Yes, thank you very much for that. I'm, I'm still waiting for, for uh, well, Fanny, Marcela, Karina, Karen Rivas, Jonathan Mauricio, Sandra. Yes, I'm waiting. Can you hear me? Okay, in Guadalupe, huh? yes, tell me. We are, we are do, do, doing a survey to the co-workers. And the second one is there are, they are reciting it. They are sorry. We are doing a survey encuesta. A survey, yes. Uh huh. To the co-workers, in the second question is they are receiving it. Receiving. Uh huh. Recibiéndola. Uh huh. Receiving them. Receiving, receiving them. Yes, that's what it is. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much for, thank you people for your participation. We are going to continue. Vamos a seguir, okay, with the, with the second part down here, con esta parte de acá abajo que está un poco extensa. All right. Yes, this one is, is kind of long. All right. It's a conversation. Let me read it, listen to the pronunciation, and then we will practice. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a colleague uh, completed the curse is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own, you know. I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing some listening exercises. They help a lot. Guys, questions about the vocabulary? Coincidence. Coincidencia. What a coincidence, que coincidencia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Long time no see, tiempo sin verte, okay? Long time no see, tiempo sin verte. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Do, en el penúltimo párrafo, cuando dice, who are right, I am study on my... O WDN, ¿qué es eso? Ah, ok. Dice, eh, tienes razón. Yo estoy estudiando por mi propia cuenta. Por mi propia cuenta. On my own. On es propio. Thank you. Yes. Ok, people, more questions, más preguntas. No. <clears throat> um, yes, yes, no. Dice, taking a training in England significa como, ¿qué significaría? Uh, here, 
a colleague who completed the, the course is taking a training in England these days. Un colega que completó el curso está, está tomando un, una capacitación en Inglaterra estos días. Training es capacitación o entrenamiento. Okay, okay yes. Uh, well, no more questions. Let me read again. Leo una vez más. This time I will read slower than the previous one. Hi, Beth. Long time not see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And uh, also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is, an essential, is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own, you know. I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing some, I'm doing uh, listening exercises. They help a lot. Yes. Okay, that's how it is. We're going to practice and people answer the questions that appear in part number three, okay? Just that. Let's practice part number two and let's continue with part number three and then we will continue with the rest, all right? Let's go, vamos. I will be checking five, just five. Okay, there you go. People, let's go, let's go. Let's join the groups. I will see you, I will see you guys there. Ahí los veo. Raúl and Ana, hello. Do you guys have access to the groups? In, in England this day. You are right. I am studying on my own journal. I am reading novels to have be better, better, to have be better, better results. Better, better results. Results. Better results. Very tall, right? <laughs> Sorry, teacher. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, no problem, no problem. Me río por no llorar. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, no se preocupe. Don't worry, don't worry. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Um. Carlos okay. y Raúl. Vamos, Raúl. Hola, Raúl. Hola, hola. 
de LR. Sí. Sí. Hola, hola. Hi, Bear. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am talking in English. Course this day, how about you? Taking, taking. No, taking. And that sounds great. What a coincidence. And I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a college who completed the course I is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own, you know. I am reading novels to, to have better result. results. Result, better result. Very well. I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Of, a lot. A lot. Like, uh, over here, colleague. Colleague. No, league. Colleague. 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 Okay. <laughs> Colleague. Colleague. This one is taking. Colleague. Colleague. Taking. Colleague. Yes. Okay, yes. And this is exercises. All right? Yes. Exercises. If you got if it is if it is possible, if it is possible for you, continue practicing more. Okay. Help each other with the pronunciation. And then you can continue with part number three. Okay? Yes. Okay. In the way you, you practice more. Okay. Yes. People, thank you very okay. much. And I will see you later. Okay? Thank you. Yes, no okay. problem. Okay. Así. Sí. English. Y la segunda es, what things have in common with the people in the conversation? Igual, uh, uh -huh. we, we are studying English. 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 Uh -huh. We are studying English. Could you, Hi, teacher. Could, could you please like practice the conversation up here, up there? Please, thanks. Okay. Um, si gusta, empiezo yo y no sé quién, quién de los dos la practica conmigo y después nos intercambiamos. Okay, si quiere yo le ayudo. Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time to no see. How are you? Hello, Beth. What are you doing today? I am okay. Well, I am go working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How are you? That's so great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace this day. I know a college who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own, you know. I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. Exercise. They help a lot. Okay. All right. Uh, just to, to help you out there a little bit here, long, this is long time no see. Okay. Long time no see. Long time, long no, time no see. Long time no see. Uh, over here is colleague, league, colleague. 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 Um, England. Long time no see. Long time England. no see. Uh -huh. Long time no see, colleague training, 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 colleague, training over England. Here. England, England, okay, England. results, 
results. 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 And the, the last one is exercises. 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 Yes. Okay. Uh, well, okay. I see that Guadalupe is here. Silvia Guadalupe and uh, and Ana Marcela. But I'm yeah. not sure. I'm not sure if, if yeah. Ana is available. No. Si gusta, yo le ayudo, Silvia, a la okay. conversación. Okay. Ana, no sé ahí, 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 está, ahí está Ana, creo. Ana, hello. Sí, aquí estoy. Okay. Ah, no la habíamos visto, Ana. A mí no me aparece aquí que esté conectada. Ah, hasta ahorita. Uh -huh. ahí. <ríe> okay. Silvia, Ana, okay. go. Si quiere, empiezo yo. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, ever. What, what are you doing? Doing these days. This this day. This day. These days. I am okay. This, ¿Cómo? These days. These days. This. Day. This day. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project, and also I am taking an English an English course this day. How about you? ¿Cómo es que se pronuncia la primera? That that sounds great. That sounds great. What a con a con this. Coincidence. Um, what a coincidence. 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 Um, also. Also. Also taking. Taking. And taking. Um, English. Course. Course. Mm -hmm. English is essen, essential. 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 Como? Esen, essential. Essential. At their workplay. These days. This, this day. This day. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England this day. Completed. 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 Yes. Anna, you are right. You are right. You are, you are right. right. You are right. I am studying. Studying on my op. Mm -hmm. You know. You're not. I am real. Reading. Real. Reading. Reading. Uh -huh. Novel it. To have bit better, barren results. Result, result. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Exercises. Exercise. Okay, excellent people. Uh, well, if we, if it is possible for you, continue with the practice there, and then you can continue with part number three. Okay. Thank you for your participation, and uh, I will see you guys later. Okay. Yes. People, see you later. Result. Hi. Right. Hi, kitchen. El trío de mosqueteras. <laughs> right. Hi. Great. Well. So yo que está no veo nada. I cannot see anything. Ah, uh, really? Is it just me? So so yo o, o todo bien así todo como borroso. No tiene. Uh... Y ahora. Se ve un poquito mejor. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
con Alba eh, le estaba ayudando con la pronunciación. Mm. Ok. Yes. Es... Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Pues no sé otra vez. Es que yo estoy en lo oscuro. <laughs> No, es que no se ve, se, se ve como que está sin, sin, sin enfoque. Mi cámara. Sin enfoque, no sé. No, a, 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 acá, que comparte. Ah, puede que usted tenga señal baja. Revise. Imposible. Ya le voy a poner una foto de cómo se ve. Ok. Para que vea. Eh, pero aquí se mira en el teléfono, se mira bien. Se ve bien, mira bien, Paco, no se mira nada. En serio. Pero creo que Alba puede ver. Alba, can you, can you see? ¿Usted puede ver? Alba, hello. Alba. Alba. Hello. Un... Sí, mi internet quizás está fallando porque lo veo. Oh, sí, ya se, ya se ve bien, ya se ve bien. Hola, me sí, escuchan. Yes. Now it looks, it looks good. Hola. Oh, sí, sí, ya en mi ve. casa solo yo estoy usando sí, el internet ahorita. Yo lo escucho bien ahorita. Por eso es el, el internet mío. Ok. Ah. Practice. Practice. Ah, Practice. Por eso. Ajá. Vaya, Elvita, lo último que nos quedaba. I am doing. Uh -huh. right. I am doing listening. Mm -hmm. Listening. But can you please, can you please uh, repeat from the beginning, del principio? Okay. Alpita, vamos a dar inicio nuevamente, sí? Okay. You are ever. Uh, ¿Yo ever o usted es Berta? Beth. Usted, usted sería ever, yo sería Beth. Ah, está bien, está bien. Hi, Beth. Long time, no see. How are you? Hello, ever. What are you doing are these you? days? I am, okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am taking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I come a college how complete the course is taking and trying in England this day. You're right. I'm studying on my own to you know. I'm reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am dying list, listing extra. ¿Cómo es ese? Exercise. I, I am doing exercise, uh -huh. listening exercises. Listening exercises. Uh -huh. Exercise. They Ex have exercises. a lot. Exercises. Exercises. Exerciser. I see exercises. Exerciser. Exerciser. Mm -hmm. Exerciser. <laughs> They help a lot. Help. They help they have, a lot. They help. 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 Tal como se escribe. Oh, en, vez, sí. en, vez, en vez de en vez de la de la H no no diga la H sino que pronuncie lo con J. Help. Help. Así. Help. 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 Sí. They, they, uh -huh. help. They have a lot. They, they help a lot, yes. A lot. A lot. 
Okay, I don't know if you guys finished part three. Okay. If you didn't finish, please continue. No, no way. Okay. Yes. If it, is, if it is possible for you, you can continue practicing and then you can continue with part number three, okay? You have, you have enough time, okay? okay? Yes, you have enough time to continue practicing, to, to, you can help Alba, okay? And uh, well, after that, you can continue with part number three, okay? I will see you guys, okay. I will see you guys later, all right? Yes. Okay. Hi, I'm here. Hola. Hello. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hey, guys. <clears throat> I would like, I would love to, to, to hear you guys practice the conversation. Okay. Okay. Comienzo. <clears throat> Hi, Ben. Long time no see. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing this day? I'm okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That's so great. What I coincidence. I'm also I also taking an English course. English is essential at the work essential. It's essential at the workplace these days. I know. A college who who complete the courses the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying. 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 You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better result. Result. Results, yes. Results. Results. Great. Well, I'm doing listening exercise. They help a lot. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, Wilber is here. So, Wilber, can you please take take? Sí. Okay. Ahorita. Hi, Beth. Long time no see you. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I'm okay. Well, I'm working on a new project. And also, I'm taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential. essential. Essential, essential. Essential at the workplace these days. Okay, continue. Okay, uh, I know a college uh, who completed the course is taking a uh, training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my home. You know, you know. I am my reading. Own. I am studying on my own. On. On. Casi se dice igual que el on normal. Prácticamente como está escrito, on. Bueno, si la si la W sería solamente con la N, on. Okay. I am studying on my home. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I'm doing listening exercise. They help, they help a lot. Okay. All right. Thank you, people. Okay, uh, well, let's continue with part number three. If you have the opportunity to continue practicing the conversation, please do it, okay? Feel free to do it if you have if you have chance, okay, or time. 
Meanwhile, okay. I'm going to I'm going to go I'm going to go to a different group. Okay. Yes. To the last one. Okay. 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 Bye. See you later. Bye. Hi. Hi, teacher. Okay. Could you guys practice? Yes. Okay. Go, please. Vaya, Carlos. Hi, boss. Long time no see. How are you? Okay, very much. Okay, hello, Ebor. What are you doing this day? I am Kate. Well, I'm working on, on a new project. And also, I am. I hear nothing. No escucho. I'm sorry. Could you hear me? Me puedo oír? Hello. Hi. Me escucha. <laughs> Perdón. No sé si se escucha bien. No le escucho nada, nada. La... Suavecito se le escucha, Carlos. Bien sí, suavecito. Sí, sí, sí. No, no, no sé realmente dónde radica el problema. Vaya. Si quiere, entonces con, con César. Ok. Ok. Vale. Go, please. I'm just here. <clears throat> Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Robert. What are you doing this day? I'm okay. Well, I am working on a new project. I also I am taking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. <clears throat> English is essential at the workplace this day. I know, my college hope complete a uh, course I'm taking and training in England these days. True, all right. I'm studying on my own, you know. I'm reading novels to have better results. Great, well, I am doing listen, listening, listening, exercise day <laughs> on a lot. Okay. Teacher, right. ahí, ahí María eh, le quería hacer una, una consulta de los últimos dos verbos. ¿Qué parece ahí? Uh -huh. ¿Qué uh -huh. se habían escrito? Uh -huh. ¿Which ones? ¿Cuáles? El último párrafo de Ever, hay dos verbos y terminan en ING. Ajá. Uh -huh. Great well, I am doing listening. Uh -huh. Oh, en el caso de listening, en el caso de listening no es un verbo. Okay. Le, le explico. Hay muchos verbos que tienen la ING, pero no son verbos. Okay. En el caso de listening es audio. En ese caso, si combinamos listening exercises, serían uh, ejercicios de audio. ¿Sí? Mm, ok. Ok. O podemos cambiarlo y ponerle reading, que reading es leer, pero con ya sería leyendo, pero reading también es lectura. Reading exercises, ejercicios de lectura. Ok, o si es escritura sería writing. Muchos verbos, muchos verbos con ING no, 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 no son el verbo, sino que son, uh, se le dice sustantivo. Ok, tienen la ING, pero no tienen función de verbo, sino que de un sustantivo. Yes. Más ejemplos okay. podrían okay. ser para, para clases, para clases, por ejemplo, de manejo, clases de baile. En ese caso sería driving, que es manejando, sería en español, ¿verdad? Pero driving es manejo. Driving lessons, ok, o driving classes, clases de manejo. O, o dancing, dancing, clases, clases de baile, no bailando, ok. O singing, singing, que es cantar, singing, clases, clases de canto, ok. Y así va sucesivamente. Okay. Ese, esos verbos se le llaman gerundios. No son verbos, sino que se le llama gerundio. Sí. Mm, ya, yeah. ok, teacher, gracias. Gracias, teacher. Ok. All right. And, uh, did you finish part three? Ah. Sí, teacher. Bye.
pensamos que Ever está haciendo lo siguiente. Uh, he's working in a new project. He's taking an English course and he's doing listening exercise. Exercises. Con ese, exercises. Ok. Y le falta la, la, la R a uh, course. 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 There you go. And uh, she's, let me read. She's taking an English uh, N. En English course, la, la N le falta la A. Antes de inglés, la N. También en la de arriba. Bye. Ok, otra cosa, cuando hablamos de materias, o, o sí, sí, materias o asignaturas, siempre están, van en mayúscula. La primera letra, mayúscula. Ok. Sí. Y okay. de semana meses, materias, todo eso va en, en, en no, mayúscula. La primera letra, exacto, así como la en English Vamos On her own, and she's reading novels to have better results. Okay, yes. Okay, that's excellent, that's excellent. And they are taking an English course. Perfect, people, thank you very much. Let's go back, let's go back to the main session. Okay, let's go back to the main session. Vamos, regresemos a la, a la, a la principal. Gracias, compañeros. Gracias. Hello, everybody. We're back. Regresamos. Hemos vuelto. Okay. Yes, I just want to thank you guys for, for participating, for practicing, and for doing part two and part three. All right. I know you guys did it. Yes. Okay. And now we are going to go on. And, uh, well, do you see the book, people? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. All right, over here it says how to use present continuous for temporary situations. Okay, como usar el presente continuo para situaciones temporales. Okay, vamos a. I'm going to show you the presentation in which I will be explaining how, how we use this. Okay, yes. Okay, this is, this is the. This is the, the cloud. Excuse me, class number 14. All right. And we have present continuous for temporary situations. All right. Oh, uh, well, a little bit about yesterday's topic. Do you guys remember uh, yesterday's topic? What were we talking about? Can you please tell me? ¿Qué vimos ayer? ¿Qué estudiamos ayer? ¿Se acuerdan? Okay, yesterday we present were, continuous. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Present continuous. We were studying or practicing present continuous, yes, and we were also practicing the WH questions or the information questions. Okay. Yes. And I will show you, I will show you how, how this is. Okay, acá está. As you can see, present continuous with, with WH questions. Okay. We were talking about what, what time, what kind of, where, when, which, who, who's, why, and how. How is not here, but we were also working with how. And I was, I was also showing, showing you the, the structure. Okay. Iniciamos, we start with WH question. We continue with the verb B, which is am, um, is, or are. Okay. We continue with the subject. We continue with the verb with the ING form and the complement. All right. 
that is the structure to construct a sentence or in this case to construct a question okay perfect and i have here some examples of, of some questions which road are you taking to the conference this week i show you this information yesterday we're just reviewing okay estamos repasando solamente why is she bleeding who am i sending to the meeting who is she taking sorry who is she talking in the conference room with where is he visiting his family? What are they making in the kitchen? Whose house are they buying? Which clinic are you opening? And why is Rosa reading a book? Okay, so we were talking about the information questions yesterday. So that's what it is. Now uh, today we're going to continue with this. Okay, look. Use present continuous for temporary situations, it says here. Use present continuous for temporary situations. The expression, the expressions these days and at the moment are often used to emphasize the temporary aspect of the activity. Okay, las expresiones estos días o el momento o al momento son usualmente usadas para enfatizar o darle énfasis al uh, Actividad que es temporal. Okay, examples. I am reading a new book these days. This is temp this is a temporary activity because the person will finish reading the book. Okay, la acción es temporal porque la persona va a concluir leyendo el libro. Okay, durante unos días. Wendy is having a meeting at the moment. The meeting will it will finish sooner or later. Okay, Wendy está en una reunión en este momento. Okay. The meeting is going to finish at this moment. We're taking an English course. The course will end. Okay. Estamos tomando un curso de inglés. El curso va a concluir. Okay. I can say, you people, you are taking an English course with English Corporativo. Okay. With English Corporativo. The course, of course, will, will finish. Okay. Yes. That's a temporary situation. Okay. But... Uh, let me be more specific here. Okay. okay, here we go. Present continuous for temporary situations. We use present continuous to express actions or activities that are temporal or for a moment. Usamos el presente continuo para expresar acciones o actividades que son temporales o por un momento. Okay, these activities can be, esas actividades pueden ser trainings que son capacitaciones. Okay, eso temporales terminan pronto. Okay, academic trainings, uh, capacitaciones académicas, work trainings, okay, de trabajo, sport trainings, etc. Okay, ¿qué dijimos que era training, people? Yes, training. Capacitaciones. Capacitaciones. Capacitaciones, entrenamiento. O, o entrenamiento, okay. Yes, this, this, uh, the trainings, the trainings usually last maybe three weeks, four weeks, one or two months, okay? It's temporal, okay? It's temporal, okay? Uh, la acción no está pasando justamente en el momento, okay? Sino que es en general, es temporal por un periodo de tiempo, okay? Sí, that's, what, that's what, what, why, why we use it. Classes, que son clases, English class, math class, psychology class, okay? Cualquier tipo de clase, matemática, dibujo, manejo, etc. Courses, que son cursos, que es casi una clase. Computer courses, cooking courses, okay, etc. Meetings, job meetings, school meetings, college, college meetings, etc. Okay, so we use present continuous for temporary situations y when we're talking about events, okay, eventos como el, capacitaciones, clases, cursos, reuniones, okay, etc. All right, que duran no mucho tiempo, sino que es temporal. All right, people, questions, preguntas. No questions. No questions. All right then, perfect. Seguimos. Look at this. Temporary situation <clears throat> vocabulary. Look at this. At this moment, es lo que vimos anteriormente, okay? En este momento, these days, estos días, these weeks, estas semanas, 
in the mornings por las mañanas, in the afternoons por las tardes, at nights es por las, por las noches, and at noons es por las tardes, pero tardes, por, por las mediodías también, ok, por las mediodías, o en la mediodía. I can give you some examples here, I can say, Mauricio is, let me see, going to a drawing class at night. Okay. Okay, look, acá estamos usando el presente continuo para expresar una situación o una actividad temporal. Okay, que en este caso, en este caso sería una clase de dibujo. Dice, Mauricio está yendo a una clase de dibujo por las noches. Esa clase va a terminar. Ok. Yes. Sooner or later, the class is going to finish. Ok. More examples can be, let me see, Rosa. Rosa is selling. No. Is taking, let's say, taking. Uh, no, teaching, mejor. Ya mucho repetido, teaching. Is teaching uh, Okay, there you go. Rosa is teaching a biology class in the afternoons. Okay, Rosa está enseñando una clase de biología por las tardes. Okay, yes. It's temporal. Continue, con, it's, it's continuous, but temporal. Okay, yes. One more example, I can say, Peter and uh, John are working are working on, let me see, are working on, Okay, look, another example. Peter and John are working on the computer systems these days. Okay, Pedro y Juan están trabajando en, los, en, los, en el sistema de las computadoras estos días. Okay, sí. People, questions, preguntas. People, do you have any questions? No question. Easy, right? Fácil. Okay. Seguimos. We continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. Uh, well, the structure, la estructura es bastante sencilla. Okay. Iniciamos la oración con un sujeto. I, you, she, he, it, we, and they. Luego usamos am, is, are. Verb, eating. Complement in the restaurant. I am eating in a restaurant. You are eating in the restaurant. She's eating. He's eating. It is eating. We are eating. They are eating, etc. Okay. Y luego al final le veamos una expresión de las que están acá. Okay. Para hacerla temporal. Yes. All right. La expresión de tiempos o, o temporal siempre va al final. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Uh, no. Sí y no, ok. Aunque podemos ponerla en la, en la, al principio, pero sea un poco raro. Ok, look at this one. Ok, I can say at nights. I am taking my son to guitar classes, pero está bien, pero tenemos que separarlo con una coma. Por las noches, uh, estoy llevando a mi hijo a clases de guitarra. Ok. Yes. Yes. It is possible. Es posible. Ok, vamos. Ok, trainings. Ok, look, trainings and uh, capacitaciones. We have the vocabulary next to the, next to the slide here. Jose is taking an English training at the moment. 
tell me is going to the school training these days and Carlos is attending a machinery training in the mornings. Okay, is machinery? What is machinery, people? Maquinaria. Maquinaria. Yes, exactly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, yes. See, English training, school training, machinery training. At this moment, these days in the mornings, okay? Classes or, or courses, which is basically the same, or which are basically the same. Alexander is taking a cooking course these weeks. Wendy and Emma are preparing classes in the afternoons. And uh, you are attending the, gra the grammar course these days. Grammar de una M, una M más, de la doble M. Okay. Sí, son dos M. All right. Yes. And then it says, okay, look, the present progressive or continuous is used for activities in progress at the exact moment of speaking. Time expressions such as now or right now and at the moment often occur when the present progressive tense, with the present progressive tense. Can you call back later? We're studying at the moment. Okay, temporal. We are studying at the moment. I'm trying to concentrate. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but this one is not really. Hold on. There is something going on here. Ah, oh, okay. It's just the uses of this. Okay. Acá tenemos los usos del presente continuo. Este es un uso. Dice acá, it says here, que usamos, we use the present, the present progressive to talk about exact, like, like, actions that are happening at the moment of speaking, okay? Están pasando en el momento. Okay, estamos estudiando en este momento, okay? See, it's, it's happening in the moment. I'm trying to concentrate, está pasando en el momento. It's raining, está lloviendo, pasando en el momento, de acuerdo al contexto acá. You're playing basketball, and you're studying uh, the present progressive right now, okay? Next is, Okay, the present progressive is, can also express the extended present actions that are in progress but not happening at the exact moment of speaking. Okay, you can use time expressions such as this week or these days to show when the action is happening. This action may be ongoing or may be start or stop repeatedly. She's taking a computer course this semester, lo que estamos hablando de uh, temporal, temporary situations. I'm looking for a cheap car. Do you have any ideas? Okay, temporary situation too. They are renovating the, the kitchen this month. Okay, it's taking a long time. Also temporary, okay. I'm in the middle of reading a really good book. Okay, also temporary situation. Okay, yes. Look, uh, more, more about temporary situations can be, can be expressed with the present continuous or progressive. If you feel that the situation is not permanent or won't continue for a long time. I'm staying with a friend this week, okay, this week. She's leaving and still for a few months, okay, temporal. Jack's working at a cafe until he finds a job in his field, temporal, okay, not permanent. Okay, temporary or new habits can also be expressed with the present progressive for regular habits that have continued for a long time and are permanent or shoes present or simple present. Okay, I'm drinking a lot of coffee this week. Okay, you're smoking too much. They are working late every night. Okay, yes, this part is not really relevant. Okay, guys, do you have any questions? Do you guys have any questions? Teacher. Es un poco sencillo, okay? All right, vamos a seguir. We're going to continue with part number four. Dice, role play a chit chat conversation about the temporary activities you and two other colleagues are doing these days. Vamos a crear una conversación acerca de las actividades temporales que tú 
y dos compañeros de trabajo o dos colegas estarán haciendo o están haciendo estos días. ¿Ok? Sí, eso haremos. Uh, vamos a crear un grupo de tres o de cuatro, creo que los mismos. Sí, ok. Haremos la conversación, tendrán alrededor de siete a ocho minutos para hacerla. Ok, luego regresamos acá y compartimos. Ok, people, do you understand? ¿Entendemos? Guys, do you understand? Uh, so, so. Haremos una conversación, ok, en la cual vamos a incluir, vamos a incluir estas preguntas, bueno, básicamente, what are you doing this, this week, ok, what are you doing this month, what are What are you doing these days? Okay. Um, What are you doing these days? Which class are you taking this this week? Okay. What kind of lessons are you? Ok, y así, preguntas como estas están acá. Ok. Yes. Las preguntas, hacen las preguntas, se responden y continúan con el flow de la conversación. Ok. Yes. All right. Ok. Let's continue. Let's go, let's go to the groups. Vamos. See you, see you there, people. Veo ahí. Sandra, can you please can you please join the group? Se puede venir al grupo. Raúl, what are you doing this week? Hello. Carlos. Sería ahí, ¿verdad? Sí. I am. I am. ¿Cuáles son los verbos? ¿Cuáles son los verbos temporales que dijo? Ah, eh, eran. Las frases temporales eran. Um, you can say going. They, well, como dice aquí, what are you doing these days? You can say, we, uh, I'm, I am working, I am uh, creating, I am organizing, I am, uh, let me see, attending, I am going, taking. Depende del contexto, cualquier cosa puede ser. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, 
o si es en su casa, I am remodeling, remodelando, I am remodeling my kitchen this week, mi cocina esta semana, esto, estos días, esta semana. This week es, es plural, weeks, estas semanas. Así ah, le falta la S, la, yo no, no se la puse. Fue un copy paste, teacher. Sí, no la puse la S. Sorry. Entonces, eh, Raúl, eh, I am... I am... Quiero verla. I am going to... Los chorros. Es, I'm going to, to San Salvador these days, or these weeks. Okay. I'm going to San Salvador this week. Luego puede preguntar, este, no sé, Fanny puede preguntar por qué está yendo a San Salvador todas esas semanas. Why, why are you going to San Salvador these, these, these days? This week. Luego uh, uh, responde Raúl responde a uh, I am going uh, or you can say because because I am no solo because I am no no repetí lo mismo because I am luego cambia el verbo cause cause con a esa o es a no sí no lleva o okay así because, because I am Uh, póngale attending, attending a meeting. Ok, y luego continúe, continúe con la, con la, bueno, puede, puede decir, and, and you funny, what are you doing these days, o así, ok. Yes. Continue, people. Ok, teach. Creando un nuevo proyecto, como lo podemos poner doing a new project uh, for the company. Hey, teacher. Yes, I'm here. Todavía le estamos empezando a, a crear. Uh, ok. Yeah, alguien más pero más reunió. Let me see. If we have SSS, we are going to have dinner after work. We're continue. We are having. We are having dinner after work. Okay. We are. Sí, estaba correcto, pero como estamos con otra estructura, no estamos con el con el con el con el con 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 el 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 con que la luna está roja por eso está perdiendo no hay señal ok únase oh, ok join the conversation aquí únase en la conversación usted métase ahí en la 
Silvia creo que está manejando, así que no puede, perdón, Yanira no puede manejar, no puede manejar, no puede participar porque está manejando. Ok. Ok, ahí está. Hi guys, pone, pone. <risa> está bien, está bien. Excelente. Sí, bueno. estaba en otro grupo y entré otra vez y me, me, me agregó oh, a otro grupo. Sorry. <risa> Sorry, sorry. Ok, people, continue. Ok, thank you. Eh, Jair, ¿qué quiere preguntar o qué quiere decir en la conversación? <ríe> es que yo... No le he visto, no yeah. le he visto. Ah, no puede ver mi pantalla. Es que no la podía ver porque si, si lo ah, bajo okay. un poquito, pero... Vaya, aquí está. ¿Qué tiene? Cena. 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 Ah, ok. Este sería... Quiero ver... Por continuo, ok. Diversidad. Hey guys, I'm here. Ay, qué bonito. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Oh. Teacher, help us. Uh, how yeah. do you say in English eh, título universitario? Hmm? Es que en el caso estamos poniendo, eh, respondiendo las preguntas, ¿no? Sí. La primera es que haremos esta semana. En mi caso, este jueves, yo tengo mi graduación de la universidad. Ah, oh, ok. University graduation. Oh, dijo el título, ¿verdad? Ajá, porque ya es el acto de graduación. Ah, oh, y que es el university diploma. Y pongámosle la, 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 el algo, pongámosle attending. Oh, creo que no me comprendieron muy bien la, 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 la actividad. Es que yo escuché que era un roleplay, que íbamos sí, a hacer sí, una conversación. Una, ajá, exacto. No, no era responder las preguntas. Esas preguntas eran un ejemplo que podían preguntar a ustedes en la conversación. Ah. Aún estamos a tiempo de arreglarlo. Okay? Podemos poner hello, okay. hello, Alba, hello, Carlos. Y ahí, sí, continúa. Ah, pues quita eso, Roberto. Sería mejor Karen University Degree. Suena mucho mejor. University Degree. Mm -hmm. sí. or, or College Degree. También sería. Charlie, anticipo que no sé si me voy a poder conectar ese día. ¿Cuándo sería? El 19, pasado mañana. Ok. You are going to graduate from, from, uh, from which career? Ah, la licenciatura en educación con la especialidad de idioma inglés. Excellent. Ooh. Did you take the TOEFL test? Is it TOEFL? No. Eh, fíjese que en la universidad nosotros hacemos el curso de TOEFL, pero creo que el examen se realiza después. Tengo que cursar el, el, tengo que buscar dónde hacerlo realmente. Esa cosa mata. ¿no? Entré a un a un curso que dio una empresa financiada por ese form del uh -huh. TOEFL. Uh -huh. Y lo estuve haciendo, pero como en una, en una de esas me tocó una semana bien pesada en el trabajo. Me atrasé con unos temas 
y por dos centésimas no pude hacer el tofu. Lástima. Ah, sí, casi lloraba. En mi caso sí, yo lo yo tuve que hacerlo. 2016, creo que lo hice. 2016. Easy, fácil. <risa> no, si eso es casi una paz. Sí, es prácticamente una paz. Es lo mismo. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, ¿Quién está escribiendo? <risa> Yo. Roberto. Okay. Roberto, pongámosle en about esa, esa, esa barra de vez, la O. About. Uh -huh. La O va antes de la U. Y pongámosle la S a week. Le parece arriba, en azulito, a rey azul. Weeks. Weeks. Uh -huh. Así. Plural. Sounds es la U. Pónganle U antes de la O. Uh, y uh -huh. el great es great great create uh -huh. no no sin, sin, uh, no no sin ese sin ese así lo siento es que lo, okay eso le es digamos people help help Carlos ayuda a Carlos okay ayúdenle ayúdenle okay see you later son no. son así s u n no, s u n ajá uh -huh. s u n S U N, some city. Así. Ah, Ay, guys. Y, okay. y lo termina con uh, expresiones eh, de admiración, como, como es una forma de chiste, ¿verdad? Okay. Y, uh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo van a leer esto después? ¿Sabes cómo lo van a leer? <risa> eh, ah, porque lo hemos escrito ahí. Ajá. Una foto. Ah, yo le puedo tomar una foto. Okay. Screenshot. Screenshot, ok, ok. That's good, that's good. Está bien así como lo hemos hecho, teacher. I'm reading, I'm reading. This week's. Póngale weeks. Sí, yo, yo, yo me comí weeks. la S en, en la primera. Al final, ajá, yo, yo no le puse la S, entonces sería weeks. This week's. How about you? What are you doing? At this moment, at this moment. At this moment. Uh -huh. At this moment. The conversation. He's telling me. Borremos ese, ese talking me. Bueno, borremos el talking y pongamos el telling. Telling. Yes. Telling. Me está contando. Hmm. Telling. Telling me about his work in a Sun City. Sun City. La ciudad <laughs> del, del sol. Hicimos decirlo <laughs> como, una ciudad, como una ciudad caliente, algo así. Ah, oh, okay. And the, the, uh, soleada. Okay. Yes. San Miguel y Osulotán. Yes. Y por continuo, continuo. Sea muy poquito. How we, how, how we are going in this in, in this writing? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Solo un poquito, pongámoslo un poquito más. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, All right. Continue, people. I'm going to go to the to a different group. Get out of the group. Okay, okay. Bien. Okay. A tiempo. A tiempo se metió el teacher. Ya terminamos. I am here. Bye. Okay. Empiezo yo, compañeros. Did you finish the, the conversation? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Hello, girls. What are you doing today? Hoy voy yo. Sí. Sí, Hi, Cesar. I feel tired. ¿Cómo era? I feel tired. I, I am going to sleep. Right. Right, right now. now. Mm -hmm. Those fears 
I am um, coach. Come cooking, cooking, cooking my loan for tomorrow. I see. I am studying the lesson right now. It's wonderful. In my case, I'm reading a good book for the exam. Okay. Le toca a Marcela. ¿Qué me iba a preguntar? What time of lesson? César, what time? In common? Of lesson. Are you? Of lesson. Are you studying this week? Mm -hmm. I am studying the present sample and the WH, WH question. Ahí it termino sound, yo. Sí. No. Ahí después. It sounds interesting, Cesar. I am studying uh, Italian course this month. Be an Italian course. Okay. Un curso italiano. ¿Cómo sería, teacher? I am studying. An Italian course. Gracias. I am studying an Italian course. An Italian, Italian course. course. This month. Okay. Okay, Marcelo. I do go. I have, I have to go. Así es verdad. See you later. Okay. Take care, my friends. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you are going to you're going to pre present this conversation in the main class or in the main session. Okay. Vamos a presentar en la en la sala principal. Okay. Okay. Vamos. Let's go back to the, to the main session. Hi, we're back. Well, guys, we'll have to wait for the rest. Esperemos que regrese Arturo, Mauricio, y Wilber. Twenty seconds. Okay, guys. We, we are going to present the conversation. We. Oui. Okay, okay, go, please. Jair, thank you. Hello, Silvia. What are you doing this week? Uh, hi, Carlos. We are having dinner at after work this week. Very well. What about you? My co-workers and I are doing a new project for the company. Hi, guys. How are you? Fine. We are talking about things we are doing this week. How about you? I am taking an Excel course because it is important for my work. Great. That's all. OK, that's all you have. That's, that's perfect. Thank you very much for sharing, the three of you. OK, Silvia, Jair, and Carlos. Let's continue. Seguimos. ¿Quién más? 
Okay, Mr. Mr. Uh, Alemán, go. Usted y su grupo. Carlos Alemán, hello. ¿Aló, me escuchas? Carlos, ¿me escucha? ¿Me escucha? Se te oye bien a lo lejos, Roberto. No sé si se me oye ahorita. Sí. Sí, ok. Eh, ¿Puedo compartir entonces? Para... Sí. Se puede ver, me imagino, sí, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, eh, bueno, la conversación no sé si con la... Compañera Karen, buenas tardes. Ok, go. Hello, Karen. Hi, Carlos. What are you doing this, day, this week? This week, I'm attending users to big documents. What about you, Carlos? Sound great. And which class are you taking this week? Well, I'm taking an English class in a group of Infoport. Really? Me too. I'm a studying English class in Infoport too. And what, is and what is your English group? I'm taking class at 8 to 10 p.m. Really? Me too. I think we're in the same group. That's good. That's it, teacher. Okay, I didn't, I didn't, no le escuché nada a Carlos. <laughs> Se le oye bien, bien a lo lejos la voz. Okay, me suele fallar mi equipo. Okay, okay, that's okay. Thank you for, for, for sharing. Okay, thank you, thank you, Carlos. And Karen and Alba. Yes, seguimos. Let's continue with Wilber. Wilber, go please. Hello. Okay. Hello. Go, people. Vamos. Hello, Wilber. How are you? Wilber, are you there? Hello, Wilber. No está Wilber, quizás. Ahorita, ahorita, lo siento, es que se me va el Wi-Fi donde estoy. No problem. Okay, no problem. It's okay. Hello, Wilber. Uh, How are you? I'm great. I'm working in in San Miguel City these weeks. How about you? What are you doing at this moment? Well, I am reading the conversation right now. Hi guys, what are you talking about? Uh, hi, Wilbur is telling, telling me about his work in a Zoom city. That's great. I am visit, I visiting at my parents the next week and I am playing go to the beach this week. Okay, very good. Thanks. Right. Bye. Bye. Si para eliminan, eliminan ese at, I'm visiting my parents. Ese at no. Okay, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Excellent, people. Let's continue. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Uh, let me see Marcela, Karina. Hello. Acabo de hablar. Oh, sorry. Disculpe. Era yo. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Yes. It's okay. Yeah. Cesar, continue. Cesar. Okay, teacher. Uh, 
Hello, girls. What are you doing today? Anna? Hola. I'm going. Hi, Cesar. I feel tired. I am go I am, I feel tired. I'm going to sleep right right now. Fear to come on, say? Fears I am co cooking my load for tomorrow. Okay. I see. I am studying the lesson right now. It's wonderful. In my case, I read in a good book for the exam. All right, all right. Okay. Did you finish? Okay, Adina, no. Cesar, what? Como era? What time of the lesson? What time of your study this, this week? I am studying the present sample on the WH questions. It sounds interesting, Cesar. I am studying an Italian course this month. I have to go see you later. Take care, my friends. All right, all right, yes. Perfect, thank you very much for sharing, the three of you. Uh, well, we're going to continue with the next activity. I'm sorry for the ones that have not participated. Don't worry, you will participate in the next activity. The next activity is this one, es la siguiente, numero seis. Okay, we were number five, sharing the role play with the class. Now we continue with part number six. That says writing, write a six line paragraph about temporary events at your workplace. Escribe un párrafo de seis líneas acerca de tus de, de eventos temporales en tu lugar de trabajo. Okay, yes. People, vamos, individual. This one is individual, okay? We are going to write a six line paragraph about the events that are temporal at your workplace. Okay, si, ¿Sí? entendemos? Guys, do you understand? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes. Okay, vamos. Let's do this. Tenemos like, like seven minutes, como siete minutos para hacerlo. No use in Google. Here.
Guys, did you finish? Let me know. Oh, yes. Let me know when you finish. Teacher, para decir, para la toma de decisiones. Can you please tell me the complete sentence? Toda la oración, dígamela. Uh, I am preparing file by my boss para la toma de decisiones. Preparing, digo, digo qué? I am preparing file, archivo. File. Ah. File by my boss. Para su jefe. Sí, para mi jefe, para la toma de decisiones. Ok, en el chat lo mandé. For the decision making. Let me know when you finish. So we need to. In my case, just yes, teacher. All right. Okay, the one, the person that finished, please share. Que comparta que terminó. Compartamos. Can I start? Yes, yes, please. Okay, thank you. 
this week uh, start mm -hmm. the month X-Men ex exam and the teacher we have to reading tasks to the students and I am preparing the ex the exams of two subjects and it, and it use a bit tiring because sometimes we uh, sometimes the students don't finish the homework or the activity so we having put some pressure on the students Only okay that. yes yes Ok, se le escucha bien suave, pero ya, 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 ahí le escuché todo y se les quité la bocina. <ríe> ok, thank you, Carlos, for sharing. Ok, ¿quién muestra mi no para que comparta? Ay, teacher. Mi uh, teacher. Ok, uh, creo que dijo uh, primero Arturo y después César. Ok. The temporary jobs in my workplace are answering calls, helping my co-workers to organize files, the carrier correspondence twice in the last week, and sometimes they allow me to cover for the co-worker who is not coming for tomorrow. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you, Arturo, for sharing. Cesar, go, please. In my work, we are receiving 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 the new order for laboratory laboratory equipment the next week we are also prepare prepare the closing of silence and the final report let's hope we can finish at the boss requests requests requerido por el jefe required no required by the boss required before the weekend i will be every bus busy week okay thank you Cesar, for sharing alguien más anybody else i go please thank you I am taking a course the risk this week. Also, mm -hmm. I am teaching at some customer service agency. Also, I am starting new system this week. Also, I am preparing file for my boss for the decision making. Mm -hmm. I am reading a new operation manual. Mm -hmm. I am having three meetings this week. Okay, you have anything, okay? Okay, that sounds good, that sounds good. Okay, thank you for sharing, Yair. Alguimas, anybody else? Me? Go, please, thank you. We are doing a fun week at my work. We are playing games like Monopoly, Uno, and some other. There is also a, kara a karaoke. I listen to my co-workers sing. It's kind of fun. Okay, just that. That sounds good. That sounds good. Thank you, Silvia, for sharing. Anybody else? Me. Okay, go, Carlos. Thank you. In my workplace, my co-workers and I are receiving training about operative risks. We are planning annual drills for all work centers, and we are finishing annual reports for present to, to superintendents. So the, the colleagues in the marketing department are launching, launching the new adverse, adversity campaign. Advertising campaign, all right, okay. Advertising campaign. All right, all right. Thank you very much for sharing. Anybody else? Thank you, Carlos. Alguien más? Guys? Uh, quiero probar. Okay, go, Wilber. Thank you. Uh, we, we are studying GPS this week. Uh, the supervisor is taking training about CCTV tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, the company, esta no estoy seguro, pero the company is having events for donations. Yes, donation events. The company is donation having event. don, donation events. Okay. For 
You can say charity también, charity events. Uh, no conozco esa palabra. Charity, caridad. Chat, charity events. Okay. And the last one, the company is recruiting for a new employees this week. Recruiting? Eh, reclutando, recruiting. New employees. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. All right, all right. Thank you for sharing, Wilbert. Okay, one more person, uno más. One more person. Hi. Hi, teacher. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Go. Okay. Hello, my name is Carlos. I am working in Fiance. I have events temporary this week. I am attending meeting with my partner of Panama in this week. Also, I am writing a report about budget these days with my coworkers are interview, interviewing a people to a compound this week and I am signing documents tomorrow. Okay, okay, that sounds good. That sounds good. Thank you, Carlos, for sharing. All right, all right, people. We we have we have finished. I mean it's it's time. It's time. Yes. All right. Uh, well let me tell you some information. Today is class number 14. Or is la clase 14? Okay. So tomorrow, therefore tomorrow we will be class number 15. Okay. The point is that we need to complete the platform. Tenemos que hacer la plataforma para la semana 3. Okay. O la clase 15, ya. Tiene que estar completa la semana 3. Okay. We have to complete week 3. Yes. All right. And we have to be getting Gary. Uh, you have to be catching up, okay? You have to catch up. Okay, just that. And today, el día de ahora, se quedará Silvia Guadalupe Romero. Hello. Hola. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Let me take attendance or update the attendance list. Okay. Alba Janet Jimenez Cabrera. Present teacher. Ana Marcela Argueta Santos. Present teacher. Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Andrea no estuvo, ¿verdad? Cesar Arquímedes Moreno Flores. Present teacher. Excuse me. Jonathan Mauricio Galvez Juárez. Present teacher. Jose Yair Lobo Pérez. Present teacher. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Hi teacher. Present. Marcela Karina Melgar Alas. Present teacher. Margarita Rosemary Perez Ayala. Maria Jose Hernandez Auceda. Present teacher. Uh, Raul Arturo Esquivel Medina. Present teacher. Reinaldo no estuvo. Okay. Sandra Yanira Ayala Jiménez. Silvia Guadalupe Romero Montoya. Present. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. Fanny Judith Palacios de Oliva. Present teacher. Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. And Carlos Roberto Alemán. Present teacher. Okay, let me tell you. Okay, no sé, la... no sé si no me mencionó o no escuché. Perdón. Carlos Josué Pascasio. Present. Okay, okay, sí, sí. Gracias. Thank you, teacher. Okay, los que no estaban, le, veamos acá. A ver. Raúl y bueno, Raúl le faltaba la semana dos. No sé si la completó Raúl. Yes, teacher. 
Ok, y voy a reinarlo cuando no está Reinaldo. Bueno, hoy voy a revisar a ver si ya todos terminaron. Bueno, si están al día. Ok. Yes. People, thank you for being in the class today. I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Good, Good night. night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow, people. Bye. Descansen y descansen. Good night. All right. Bye. Silvia, usted se queda, no se vaya. <laughs> Okay, hi, Silvia. Hi. Okay, this, this, uh, well, es para, para poder declarar cualquier duda, una pregunta que usted tenga. Confusión, queja. <laughs> Comentario, opinión. Me gustaría, me... me gustaría saber el uso de tú y también el uso de at. El uso de? Tú, teo y el uso de at. at. Ok. Ok. Perfecto. ¿Puede ver aquí la... la uh... ¿Sí? ¿Lo puede ver? Sí. Ok. Muy bien. Iniciamos. We start with at. Usamos el at para dos cosas. Para expresar tiempo y para expresar lugar, place. Ok. Eso, así usamos el at para expresar tiempo y, y, y expresar lugar. Por ejemplo, we are at the meeting. Ok. Estamos en la reunión. Acá el ad está expresando tiempo. Perdón, lugar. <ríe> ok, we... Ser dos situaciones se puede usar. Sí, solamente ID. Ok. Sí. Ok. We are at work. Observe. We are at work. Estamos en el trabajo. Ok. También expresa lugar. We are at the entrance of the studio, let's say. Ok, estamos en la entrada del estudio, igual lugar. Ok, sí. El ad expresa lugar. Se puede decir también que el ad expresa un punto específico. Ok, un punto muy, muy específico. Por ejemplo, dijimos, antes dijimos... Estoy en la reunión. Es obvio que la reunión está en un punto específico. ¿Se entiende? ¿Sí? Ya está Ajá. específico o establecido dónde la reunión, en qué, en qué, en qué salón, o qué aula, o qué, o qué cuarto, etc. ¿Cómo quiere llamarle? Ok. We are at work. Ya sabemos dónde trabajamos. Es decir, we are at work es un punto específico. Igual acá, we are at the entrance of the studio, en la entrada, ok, punto específico. Ahora, si yo quiero usar el in, porque se puede usar el in y el at, ¿sí? Yo puedo sí, decir... Significa lo mismo. Ok, ajá. Podemos decir lo que sí, ok. Digamos, por ejemplo, we are in the office. Okay. Estamos en la oficina. En ese caso me refiero a toda la oficina en general, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Yo puedo decirle, I am in the office, pero no sé si estoy en la, en la cocina, ok, en la bodega, en el baño, okay, solo digo que estoy en la oficina. También puedo decir, I am at the office, pero en ese caso ya sería un punto más específico y nos estamos refiriendo en el cuartito donde está la computadora o su escritorio. ¿Sí? Ok, entonces el ad expresa, expresa lo que hicimos es lugar, ok. Y expresa también tiempo, ok, we eat Ok. We eat vegetables at lunch time. Ok. Comemos vegetales en el almuerzo. Ok. Lunch time va unido. Ok. We go to, we go home. We go home at 5 p.m. Ok. 
el ad en este caso ya no expresa, ya no, ya no expresa este lugar, sino que está expresando lugar. tiempo. Okay. Acá dice, comemos vegetales en el almuerzo. No es lugar, sino que ya en ese caso es tiempo. Ok. Y acá tenemos, we go home at 5 p.m. Vamos a, la, a casa a las 5 de la tarde. También igual estamos expresando uh, tiempo, ok. Tiempo. No lugar. Otro ejemplo, we have soup at we have soup at let's see dinner time okay we have soup at dinner time comemos o tenemos uh, sopa también comemos sopa o ingerimos como digamos quiera decirlo sopa en la cena okay at dinner time tiempo okay ¿Entendemos esa parte? Sí. Sí. Con el ad. Sí. Ok. Ahora, si nos metemos a otra situación, por ejemplo, good at getting at bad at. Ok. En ese caso sería no expresamos este, ninguna de las dos, ni lugar, ni tiempo. Ok. A good at significa bueno, bueno en, getting at, uh, como hacia dónde vas, o, o a qué quieres llegar. Y malo en. Ok. No expresamos ni tiempo, ni lugar. Por ejemplo, I am good at soccer. Ok. Soy bueno en, en, el, en, el, en el fútbol. Ok, no expreso ni lugar ni tiempo, sino que eh, usamos también at para, para uh, ¿cómo se llama? Se llaman uh, collocations en, en inglés, pero no somos en español. Son palabras que están establecidas, ok, que están establecidas que así van. Va el, el, el verbo o un adjetivo y luego va el at. Okay. Oh. Por, ejemplo, por ejemplo, get, get at. Es uh, uh, como uh, a qué quieres llegar, ok. A qué punto quieres llegar, sí. Pero básicamente, eso ya es otro uso más, más com complejo del, del ads. Básicamente, el ads se usa, o así básicamente, para expresar tiempo y lugar, ok. okay. El tú, por otro lado, también tiene un, un, un montón de usos, ok. Bastante, bastantes. Pero pongámoslo lo más simple. El tú significa direction. Ok. Dirección. Okay. Significa dirección. El tú significa hacia. Ese, ese es el uso más común del tú. Ok. Sí. We go, we go to the movies. Vamos al cine. Acá es, puede significar al o puede significar hacia. Vamos hacia el cine o vamos al cine. ¿Ok? Sí, ese es un, un, el uso más básico del tú. ¿Ok? Ay. Sí, como digo, que ese, 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 ese tú es un poco más complejo que el, que el at. ¿Ok? Tiene muchos, muchos usos. ¿Ok? También significa to say. Ok. También es otro uso común para separar dos verbos. Usamos el tú para separar dos verbos. Yo podría decirle a usted, I can tell you, I need to clean my room. Ok. I need to clean my room. Necesito limpiar mi cuarto. Ese tú está separando el verbo need con el verbo clean. Ok, so, usamos el, el to para dirección, ok, para de, decir hacia o para separar dos verbos y podemos seguir porque tiene muchos usos, ok, tiene muchos usos, bastantes usos y es bastante, con, uh, se confunde mucho con el for, ok, porque el to y el for tienden, tienden, tienden a ser similares, ok, o se pueden intercambiar. En una carta se diría para 
for? No, no. Sería tú. 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 Sería tú. En una sí. carta sería tú. No, no sería for. Sería from. Es, es, es de, usted lo escribió. From Mauricio. Ok. De Mauricio. Para. Juan. Ok. From Mauricio. To Juan. Y ahí se está haciendo como la función de su propia, su propio, ¿cómo sería? Significado, así solo. Ajá, exacto, exacto, ajá. Para, ¿qué significa sí. para? Ok. No sé si queda un poco, un poco, un poco claro esto. Podríamos seguir, pero vamos a, a extender demasiado, porque como les digo, tienen demasiados significados. De hecho, el, lo, ambos son preposiciones que, que se pueden unir con otro verbo, con muchos verbos, para poder crear algo que se llama phrasal verb. No sé si los ha escuchado usted, los phrasal verb. Sí. Sí. Phrasal verb es una de las partes más complicadas del inglés. ¿okay? Es una de las partes más complicadas que realmente cuesta, como, cuesta bastante. Como ¿Sí? el que me viene a la mente es el want to que se diría como wanna. Oh, want to. Ese, ese want to es un uso de, 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 de que está acá. To separate two verbs, para separar dos verbos. Ese want to separa dos verbos. Ok, I want to eat. Quiero comer. En ese caso, el tú no significa nada. Solo lo usamos para separar dos verbos. Ok, prácticamente no es nada. Es como el de arriba. Necesito limpiar mi casa, mi, 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 mi cuarto. El tú no significa nada en ese caso. Solo es para separar dos verbos. Ok, y, el... y si usted lo quiere hacer, hacerlo informal, diríamos wanna, I wanna eat. En ese caso ya no usamos el to, sino que lo unimos con el want. Uh -huh. Eso sería un perfect way. No, no, Pero... no. No, ese, ese wanna es una, una, ¿cómo le llama? Abreviación. No, 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 no es abreviación. Se llama slang. ¿Has escuchado slang antes? Sí. Es slang, sí. slang es el lenguaje informal o el lenguaje callejero. ¿Ok? Ya. Yeah. Podemos decir, este, tenemos este got to, que es tengo que. ¿Ok? En informal sería, sería. Gotta. Gotta. Es que tenemos el going to, que en informal sería gonna. ¿Ok? Otra persona dice, dicen también ama, eso también es importante normal. ¿Ok? Y el que ustedes mencionaban que es want to, se dice wanna. ¿Ok? Uh, si hablamos de corrección, no es correcto decir gara, ni gana, ni wanna, ni ama. Eso no es correcto. ¿Ok? De acuerdo a la gramática. Pero se puede, se puede usar. ¿Ok? Yo uso gonna. Si es el único que uso. Si gara no lo uso, tampoco uso wanna. Pero sí, gonna sí lo uso bastante. ¿Ok? Es, es aceptable, pero no es... No es, no es uh, Formal, digámoslo. No es formal. Uh -huh. Eso no son, no, son, no, no son phrasal verbs, para nada. Okay. Entonces, debe, debe, entonces, debe, ¿cómo serían? Debe mostrarle un, un phrasal okay. verb. Get. Okay. Mire, get. ¿Qué significa get? Obtener. Ok, muy bien. Along significa a, a lo largo de. Ok. Ajá. Y, y luego tenemos with. Ok, eso es, es un poco más, más compleja. Esto es un phrasal verb. Si lo traducimos literal, diríamos conseguir, uh, bueno, obtener a lo largo con. No tiene sentido, ¿verdad? O, obtener a lo largo con. Nada de sentido. Como le comentaba, los phrasal verbs son una de las cuestiones más complicadas y complejas que hay en inglés. Esto que está acá significa llevarse bien con ah. y no tiene nada, nada que ver pero llevarse llevarse bien con y no está el good no veo good good es bien entonces no, no está ahí verdad no sí me entiende sí es cambian completamente el significado del verbo mire eso también run es correr into es in ese ese correr bueno run es correr Hacia into es es in en pues por pasar por, dentro. Sería, sería como, como... Dentro de un túnel. 
sería como correr, correr dentro, ¿verdad? Así lo, lo uh -huh. corre, o correr en. Pero en realidad significa encontrarse con alguien por casualidad. O como decimos, me topé con, ok, hey, me topé con mi primo allá en el parque. No, 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 ok. I ran into my, my cousin. Esos son los, los phrases verb. Y el, y el ad y el tú participan en esto, ok, con muchos verbos más. Sí. Son como, ¿cómo se dice? No, 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 olvídalo. Sorry. Estaba pensando en que son como dichos. No, oh, esos son los idioms, sí. Aunque los idioms sí, sí, los idioms también, también son así. Ok. Idioms son así. De hecho, de hecho, acá creo que en, la, en el módulo 3 hay como dos, dos lecciones, dos clases de, de esto, de los phrasal verbs. Pero los más comunes, que hay unos que son, que son bien rebuscados. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Hay mucho que aprender, Silvia. Sí. Bastante, bastante. Sí. Hay que ir paso a paso. Porque, eh, ¿no? No, no, no. Dígame. Y también quería saber cuál es la diferencia de usar may y can. May y can. Oh, may y can. Bueno, para eso requiero el cargador, permítame un segundo, porque se me carga la compu. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. May and Ken. De hecho, son tres. Tenemos tres, pero son los más comunes son May and Ken. May significa poder. Ok. Al igual que Ken, ambos significan poder. Ahora. ¿Qué expresa May? May expresa lo siguiente. Possibility. ¿Ok? Possibility, posibilidad. Eso expresa May, poder de posibilidad. También expresa prohibition, prohibición si es negativo. ¿Ok? Yes. Negative. También expresa permission. Que es permiso. Ok, en prácticamente eso, solamente eso. Ok. Ken, por otro lado, expresa lo siguiente. Possibility. Prohibition, igual si es negativo. Negative. También expresamos permiso. Permission. Ken también expresa habilidad. Ability. Ken también expresa algo que se llama request. Que es un favor o una solicitud. Dejémoslo hasta acá. Ok. Si usted puede ver, Ken y May expresan dos, tres cosas que son iguales. ¿okay? Posibilidad, como lo ve acá, prohibición, en negativo igual, y permiso. ¿okay? Uh -huh. si ¿Hay diferencia? Sí hay diferencia. La diferencia es bien sencilla. ¿okay? Como le dije, ambos, ambos significan poder. ¿okay? Uh -huh. Pero May es una palabra polite, ok, que es formal, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Y Ken tiende a ser bastante, uh, 
casual, no es informal, pero sí se dice que es informal también, pero no lo tomaría como informal porque se usa en cualquier situación. Ok. Pero can es casual o informal y may es bastante polite. Polite significa educado o cortés. Ok. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, yo puedo decir, uh, digamos, la tana clase, teacher, can I take some minutes off? Ok. Could I take some minutes off? Podría tomarme unos, unos minutos como el descanso. Ok. Permiso, ok. Aquí expreso permiso. Ok. Permission. Y está correcto. Usted lo puede decir sin ningún problema. Ok. Solo que estamos expresando o, o la, la, la acción o el permiso usando quien, que es como casual o informal. O yo podría decir, hey, teacher, teacher, may I take some Es prácticamente lo mismo, solo que lo digo de una forma bastante formal. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? Cuando escriba, cuando escriba un documento legal o algo que, que, que sea formal, no use quien, use me. Esa es la diferencia. ¿Ok? Uh. Y también que quien ya, ya expresa otras cosas más, como habilidad de poder hacer algo, como jugar fútbol, hablar un idioma, dibujar. ¿Ok? Request, que es una... una, una, una Solicitud, como por ejemplo, can you open the window? Como puedes abrir la ventana. Ahí, may no se puede usar en ese caso. Ok. Sí. Uh -huh. Más o menos, ¿verdad? Okay. Eso es todo. No, de hecho, de hecho, fíjese que hay, hay una lección también de esto. Pero creo que se extiende también con, con must y con might. Porque está otro que es might. Might también es poder. Ese might. Que va, va de la mano con, 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 este, con este may. Aunque might solo expresa posibilidad. Sí. Yes. Ok. Sí. Okay. Sí. Ok. Muy bien. Déjeme un ejemplo con, 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 con ambos, pero con, con posibilidad. Ok. Puedo decir I may pass the pass tomorrow's exam, ok, acá digo podría pasar el examen mañana, ok, Posi posibilidad, ok, esa es posibilidad, possibility, all right, o podría decir I can pass tomorrow's Exam. Ok. Como le digo, es prácticamente lo mismo en español, pero lo que cambia es la formalidad. Ok. Mm -hmm. I may pass tomorrow's exam. I can pass tomorrow's exam. E incluso podría usar might también. I might pass tomorrow's exam. Ok. En español es lo mismo, pero el, el, el tono, la formalidad es diferente. Sí. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? <laughs> yes. And probably I may go to watch TikTok. Sorry? I may go to watch TikTok. <laughs> I may go. I may go. Mm -hmm. I may go watch. I'm Me okay. too. It's possible. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, no sé si tiene más preguntas, Silvia. More questions. No. Yeah. Ok, ok, that's good then. Uh, bueno, a todos les he preguntado. No sé si tienen alguna recomendación para las clases. Ok, porque el, el punto es poder este, este, seguir mejorando. Yes. Mm, no, me parece correcto. Ok. It's ok then. Ok, Silvia, thank you. Ha sido un placer. I will see you tomorrow, ok. Igual. Bye. Sí, Descanse, ok. Que descanse. Igual. Bye bye.